Look what I got, Brando. Oh yeah, look what just showed up. Should we open it? Fuck yeah. You wanna open it? Let's open it right here on the pallet. Alright, let's see what it is. I better go get my steak knife for this one. <laughs> yeah. She's used. She's a little scratched up. That's okay. Today's the day. The test bench is about ready to get an upgrade. Over the years, you've seen this test bench test many amps. The whole time though, I've been on a battery bank. What I got here is a brand new power supply. Actually, it's not brand new, it's used, but it's brand new to me. Three phase 208, which means one thing. I gotta call the bro over here. All right, so the plan is to remove all these batteries. I probably have to remove that display with all the LEDs on it. And this is gonna go right into that spot and have 10 spare batteries left over when it's all done. Look at that. Saturday morning. Got the big old baloney cord. Four six. Four six. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I found this nice spot right here that's almost ready to go. Just needs a breaker put in. I believe it might even have a breaker. I don't know what size it is though. But we'll tap right into this thing right here with that cord, run it over to my spot. So with him here, I basically have the means to run a conduit all the way across the shop and put this thing wherever I want it, basically hardwired into the building. But I would rather have a flexible wire, that way I can bring it over and put it wherever I want. And we're gonna use these twist locks right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey man, these things are pretty serious. Look at that. The plan is to put a little pigtail on the back of the power supply, maybe a couple feet long, put an end on it, and run a cable all the way over to the wall with another end so we could just boom, put them together and be good to go. Then I can undo it and move it out of the way whenever I want. Should work out great, I hope. We'll find out. But these are some big ass connectors right here. Do we have what we need right there or what? Oh yeah. We do? Yes sir. All right. This is sweet, it was already here. You got big shit, you got to have big shit to do big shit. <laughs> Let me see that thing. Yeah, yeah. Badass. the hardest part not cutting too deep where you nick the cable yeah. or uh six four so cord very important not to leave no hanging out so OSHA don't write you up. I want the mail in coming off the wall, man. thought that's what I was paying you extra for. <laughs> yeah. 
good. It's actually a protective cover that's supposed to go over the back, but mine didn't come with that, so it's all good. I don't plan on touching anything. Dude, you got a brake light on the back of your head? Yeah. You got a. I just noticed you had a brake light. <laughs> when you stop walking, does it light up brighter? Yeah. All right, man, you killed it once again for me like you always do. Yes, sir. Let's see if this thing works. Crank it up. Don't worry, I'll edit it out and make it look like you know what you're doing. Right. It's always, yeah. always a gamble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that means we're good. I didn't see anything spark over here. Right. Hmm. Oh, yeah. About to have a fan kick on in the back. Make sure she stays cool. Oh, yeah. Whole bunch of power ready to let oh, there. It works. Look at that. Zero to sixteen volts. You need five volts at six hundred amps. You got it. We'll be doing a lot of 14.5. All right, now that that thing's hooked up, dialed in, the only thing really left to do is to get these batteries out of this test bench and put the power supply in. I know it sounds easy, but there's a lot of wires and there's at least 10 batteries. They're all on bus bars. There's a lot of cables coming up here to the distro bars and the fuse blocks. It shouldn't be that hard. It's just a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna wheel it over there, I'll pop the lid up, show you guys what's underneath it. The good thing is it's gonna free up a big fat excess power charger. The one that's underneath here running these batteries. I'm gonna need that for one of these cars out here. That's gonna be a plus, time to get started.
well, this is gonna be a lot of wires down hook. I gotta take these amps off. I gotta flip the top up and take the charger out. I gotta take the whole bank out. So it's gonna be a little bit of work. So we might as well jump right into time lapse so I don't have to bore you with all the details. Let's go. came to the conclusion that I just needed to strip all that stuff out of there and start from 100% from scratch. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a new deck. I'm gonna rerun all the wires that need to be ran. It's gonna be super clean. The batteries are gone. I'm gonna put a bunch of SMD LED meters back in there, but now I have a CNC machine so I could do a much nicer job on the display. So the real moment of truth is whether or not this thing is gonna slide into that or not. I think it's gonna. It looks, hey, judging by my tape measure, it should. But let's see how it looks. Let's see how it works. Let's see how it fits. All right, so there's nobody here to help me, so I'm gonna have to do this by myself. It's about 260 pounds. Shouldn't be that bad. All right, we got juice, let's turn it on. Well, today's mission is accomplished. 
I'm gonna run down, I'm gonna get me a brand new head unit for this thing because you know, we're making it all new, might as well make it all new. Of course I got some wiring I gotta run from the power supply up to the bus bars and the fuse block. But that shouldn't be very hard, that'll be tomorrow. I'll get the new head unit in. I'll get all the power cables situated from the back up to the top. Then we'll be ready to test. All right, I've had enough for today. You're probably wondering why I'm stopping this video right now when it's not done yet. Well, the thing about it is I've got a lot of work done so far and I got a lot of work left to go. I'm gonna run up here to a local stereo shop, Rolling Sounds. I'm gonna pick up a new head unit for it. I really wanna get up on my new laser machine when it shows up. It's supposed to be here any day now. So once that thing gets here, I can make a nice cover for it, make a protective cover for the back, make a new mount for the LED output meters and the voltmeters and stuff. I should be good to go. So I'm gonna end this video right now, get all my wiring done, and part two will be the finish. I'll make it look good, fully functional, and we'll do some testing. Stay tuned.